my dear need 20 24 25 26 warriors the battle is still on if you thought that yesterday after whatever NTA replied to us with those five six points we are going to give up let me tell you you guys are wrong so let me make it very very categorically clear that the battle is not over yet. yes we were disappointed we felt like that it was over but the hope is still on and that ray of hope has come from the high court of calcutta immense respect to the high court of kolkata for giving up uh, for, uh, for giving that judgment and you know keeping the hopes of the students really high number one number two keep this in mind that why a need 25 need 2026 students should watch this i'll explain this in this particular video and also let me remind you those students who are planning to take a drop we are continuing our academics for need 25 because there is no way you should stop your studies your academics for need 2025 both these things are going to run in parallel when we start the academics does not mean we are giving up on the fight and when we are fighting does not mean we are stopping our preparation because we just have 11 months to prepare keep that in mind so let me tell you all the things which have been going on first of all the counseling process has already the notification has already come up in assam so if you just see the particular notice from the government of assam right over here the educational notice right over here you can just click it this is on the official website admission into the first year mbbs bds courses in government colleges and dental colleges for the uh, session 2024 in assam and they have asked all these details like aadhar card scorecard pan card etc and all these things that means you know what is the meaning of this the meaning is they want to suddenly start the counseling process so that people get into the counseling mode and they forget about this issue but we are not going to give up understand the hidden meaning of this they are trying to cover it up they are trying to start the counseling process at different places so that people you know start collecting the documents and start getting into which college will i get kind of zone and then you know forget about what has happened that is number one so understand we do not accept the counseling process at all this is highly commendable this is highly sorry condemnable so keep this in mind we do not accept the counseling process i i request all the students in assam to please condemn this the counseling process should not be accepted look at what kolkata has done the kolkata high court seeks nta response on the pil this is very important see rti gives you the information but pil is what is actually a complaint officially in our court process alleges irregularities in the neat ug exam now slowly some of the main media have started picking up the neat irregularities thanks to so many youtube channels you know raising this particular issue so let's see what high court of calcutta has to say let's see what high court of calcutta has to say so the calcutta high court has ordered basically nta to file an affidavit within 10 days in response to the pil alleging various irregularities guys this has come officially from the kolkata high court now nta has to reply it's a big 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 move from uh, from the high court in the right direction this is very very positive news i am extremely happy about what the high court has demanded they have just given 10 days nta has to respond they have to submit an affidavit and once all these processes begin i'm pretty sure everybody else will also start today only in the morning somebody told me in kerala people have registered a pil kerala people registered a pil Tamil students register a pil maharashtra students register a pil karnataka students register a pil andhra telangana every part of the country register a pil in the high court every high court will register a case nta will have to give in there is no other way look at this calcutta high court you know has ordered nta to file an affidavit and the division bench presided over the justice 
so and so asked NTA to disclose in its affidavit as to how the reservation policy of the state as well as the central government has been followed preparing the merit list. Bench also comprised took the submission that some of the candidates could not have scored 718 or 719 as per the applicable marking system. Posting the matter for further hearing after two weeks, the High Court ordered the NTA to preserve the records pertaining to the exam until further orders. See, this is very important. Some of the records might get deleted, they might destroy it. But High Court has told you cannot destroy or omit any of the records, you know, until further orders. Because somebody in the NTA might probably deliberately try to delete and they might say, oh, this is done, this is over, I thought this was not needed. All these stupid excuses NTA can give, that's why High Court has said it. And I'm really happy. The advocate Tanma Chattopadhyay in his personal capacity said that there were glaring discrepancies. Yes, that is the right word to say this. Glaring discrepancies in the results which were published on June 4th. And the student community at large is today at the risk of being deprived of their legitimate claim to admission. The plea also said that NTA sought to justify illegalities by giving grace marks remember grace marks up to 100 were given and some students got 718 719 with with no proper reasoning i mean that reasoning what nta gave is not at all acceptable that based on the time based on their efficiency how did you judge the efficiency looking at the footage on cctv camera and i'll tell you one more thing i'll i'll disclose one more important fact remember yesterday i showed you i made you hear to an audio in the audio, you can clearly hear the person on the, uh, who is trying to scam, who is basically the leaker, clearly telling the student, do not look at the camera, act as if you are solving the paper. This footage will be used later on. So the scammer already knew, the paper leaker already knew the CCTV footage will be used. And in case it is used, then the grace marks will be awarded. So if the person acts as if he is solving, the CCTV will capture, oh, this is a very studious student. His efficiency is very good. Let's give him grace marks. That is what has happened, guys. So clear instructions were given to the student that do not look at the camera. Act as if you are solving, even if you are not able to solve. You can hear it clearly in the video. And that was the exact same statement which was used in the reply by NTA officially yesterday that we have checked the CCTV footage and there was nothing wrong and as per the efficiency based on our CCTV footage and other things we have awarded grace marks. So clearly there were discrepancies heavily which were found in the grace marks which were given. In its order High Court also said NTA sought to justify awarding such marks based on a judgment passed by the Supreme Court. Justification of such an exercise cannot be decided without an affidavit from NTA. Guys, this is a big win. It's a very positive news. What they are saying is, even if the Supreme Court had passed the judgment in 2018, saying how the grace marks will be awarded, there was a particular notice which was given on the rationality behind how this grace mark should be awarded and they have used that justification over here without submitting an affidavit which is highly unacceptable and the reasoning is not at all convincing the reasoning is not at all rational that's the reason why high court has said you need to submit an affidavit and this is really really a very good news also having said this let me tell you let me tell you what actually has happened guys this is a big big secret this is a big big secret let me tell you if you thought only need 2024 this scam has happened you're wrong this has happened in 2023 and 2022 it's just that we were not aware of it none of us were aware of it few students always used to cheat few students always used to impersonate few students always always paid money and have got seats it's just that nobody got to know that was such a clever scam that was such a such a clever clever scam which has been going on for a last so many years but only few students were involved this time i think they got greedy this time they became stupid the scammers have become you know very very greedy and they have spread it or i don't know who has spread it they have got many many students to cheat impersonate and leak the paper too so they could earn more money through this particular leak and scam and that's how they earned lakhs and crores of rupees. And because of this, everybody, everybody has got so high marks. They promised seats in AIMS. 
you heard the conversations you heard the conversations they promised seats in aims and government colleges now because the paper was easy and some bonus was awarded many students got very high marks so they felt oh my god then the students who paid us how will they get marks so they have tried to infiltrate the system and award these grace marks by some other means which we are also not sure how did they manage to do this how on such a large scale they can uh, cheat 25 lakh students how how did they think that 25 lakh students are going to keep quiet about this how did they even think that the students who are going to write the exam in 25 and 26 are going to keep quiet about this this is a complete big scam guys this is highly unacceptable we will continue this fight now why 25 and 26 students should also report this should also fight for your seniors 2023 2022 seniors also should fight for your juniors because remember this same scam will repeat again for all of you if you do not protest if you do not uh, activate your social medias and talk about it this will happen for 25 and 26 so your entire preparation will go for a waste your entire preparation will go for a waste cutoffs will again increase further they are becoming bolder did you not read the chats they they have dared you that nobody can catch us they have dared you nobody can catch us they have dared you do whatever you want we will do it again next year we'll get even more toppers next year we'll get even more 720 out of 720 a person who cannot even afford their daily their daily bread and butter their house rent how do you think they will manage to get a seat their only hope is a government college with low fees. Their only hope is AIMS, AFMC and some semi-government and some good private colleges which offer medical seat at a low price. How do you think that kid will get that seat? Guys, this is your fight. The rich people are paying money and stealing away. The rich are stealing from the poor. This is even bad. We had heard about poor stealing from the rich, but no, this is the rich who is stealing from the poor. This is what you have to realize. The culprits will roam free and leak the paper again. Nearly impossible to get a government seat. So my dear students, you have to, have to fight for this. You have to fight for this. I'll be releasing one more important video on what to do next, on what to do next and how do we, you know, tackle this problem for 25, 26 because many students from 24 are also going to take a drop. Remember, the movement also starts by sharing the awareness, by using this particular image, all eyes on NTA. Let this not die down. Let this not die down. It's already been shared on Twitter, Instagram, Telegram. Use this image, create the awareness. This is a fight for you. A very positive and commendable job done by the Kolkata High Court. I request all the students from Assam to please not obey the counseling process, to please not, you know, give in to the counseling process because that is a complete, complete scam. They want to start the counseling, then other states will also follow Assam. And they'll be like, see, Assam students are following the counseling process. Why are you not following? So, my dear warriors, please understand if students from assam start it then everywhere else the counseling process will start so assam students please do not do not give in protest against this this is not at all justified okay we stand with you all the students assam whatever help you need please let me know in the comments as well as kolkata students really good job over there kerala i heard pil has been filed in the high court i want every other state students to start filing the pil okay thank you so much this was captain Strayas signing off as the